So I began thinking about Yoko Ono in the summer of 1986 when uh, anti-Yoko Ono sentiment was intense and my hair was very long and I wrote something. Um, I, I, I just became aware of what uh, an icon of, uh, an icon she was not what an object of, of racist hatred she was and misogynist hatred. But then it was in the mid '90s that I started writing. Um, and the the the, and then it was the, the mercenary question. Did you also write because you wanted a job in the theater? And so often an artist will write something because they want to write about it, but also means, well, I'll work. Um, I I didn't write it specifically for me. And by the time I finished it, I I, I knew that I had to. I couldn't act in it because there was too much around the project that I had to take care of. Because I was dealing with getting copyright and permission from Yoko Ono. Um, there were no producers in okay. in my community that would take it on and that, that could do it better than I. Um, and uh, by the time we actually went to 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 produce it, there was actually no one else who was, at a certain level, the Yoko Ono project is a curatorial project with a huge amount of her work um, sort of slid into the into the piece music performance art um, uh, instruction poems uh, sculpture images of sculpture plus uh, performance art pieces like bed in for peace all of this stuff melded in and it, so at a certain level also on a directorial level there was I couldn't I couldn't I had to I had to do all that stuff so I didn't act in it um, there was a solo version that I ended up uh, um, creating the Art Gallery of Ontario was doing an exhibit and asked me to do a reading and as I was trying to put together a reading it became clear to me and to um, Marion DeVries who directed the the past Marai production that it would only be a hop skip and a jump to actually edit it into a kind of a solo version which I actually kind of like better uh, now I feel like the 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 larger production involves a lot of race politics um, that feels dated to me now. Explain that. What do you mean? Um, well, there's. Uh, it's dated to me now. If it if it were to play in Toronto, for instance, like there's a one character named Joe, who gets into this fight essentially with the the one a Asian guy about Asian on Asian dating, and that was very. That 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 feels kind of set in time to me to a certain degree. I don't think that. Asian women are quite so, um, I think that that dynamic has changed. So the solo version is kind of um, more pure in a way.